Hey, how's it going, beautiful people? I want to talk about something that is super important that a lot of people neglect on their website and or their blog, and that is super important for your blog to succeed, and that is the table of content. Why this is super important is because when you access a website and you have a table of content, either on the site like that or at the beginning of the post that when you click, it allows to quickly join the section that you want to read Number one, it's easier to the reader to navigate your site, but it also improves ranking because it helps in SEO. It improves the SEO ranking of your post because your links can be shown, your table of content links can be shown in the result or search result so that the user can jump directly to the section that they want. And a lot of people neglect that in their blog. Let me show you a concrete example. If I come here on Google and I search or you search best entrepreneur article 2021, you will see that Google has ranked my website, the MMS experience first for this one, because I did one thing well, it was the table of content because the, this snippet, I won that snippet spot. But if you scroll down, actually, this is, I'm actually at the third position for that keyword. And then the thing that you see at, at the bottom is the table of content because Google actually went on my site, gathered the table of content links, and then put them there so that when someone opens my site, the MMS experience, it, they can easily open and jump to the section that they want, which is this one traffic secret. And then they can start reading. They don't have to open the blog from the beginning and then start reading. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to create properly a table of content on your site, either in the main content or on the sidebar. First thing first, go back in the back end of your website. There are two ways or two plugins to do that. The first one, if you go on plugin, you click on add new and you search here, table of content, there are multiple options that you provide it with you, but the two options that I will suggest are easy table of content and lucky WP table of content because this create an SEO friendly table of content and it does because that's the one I'm using for my site and I just showed you. So you install that and you activate it and then we'll, we'll go ahead and also try, try this one, install and activate. But once you've done for the lucky WP table of content and you can click on more details and actually read exactly how it can help your website. Okay. It can automatically insert the table of content. It's going to be SEO friendly. You can also insert by short code. There are a lot of options. You read, you read the reviews and then you make your decision. But then after you've installed, you go on settings right here. You will see table of content, the settings or the configuration is very important. Now, if you open most of the of, of the site, or for example, if I open this one, you will realize that the levels that I have considered are only the H1 and the H2 level, meaning the, the highest level of the title and then the, the level below. And if even if I open this website, you will see that on the table of content, he only puts the higher level title and not the subtitles. So to do that, you come back on your table of content for the settings. You make sure that on the general, the minimum count of headings, for example, you can put two and then the depth. This is where you decide how deep you want to go. Do you want to go only for the main titles? or the main headings, the second level headings, third level headings, usually I go second level headings. That's why I've, that's what I've seen working best with Google. And that's why you saw Google ranking my site first with providing these second level headings. Most of the settings will be by default. You change this, this will only be content, but you change that to table of content. And then the smooth scroll, this option also is very important, the offset part, because by default it will be 24, but usually I put 100 because, because of this. Sometimes when you click on, uh, on an option, guess what, it scrolls down and cuts the title.
and that's what the smooth scroll this smooth scroll does if it's only 24 you will realize that it's 24 pixel the gap from the top of the from the top of this uh, page but when you put it at the hundred it makes sure that it actually gets the title it takes you to the title spot and then people can start reading from there the other thing that you and then you make sure you save your things now on the appearance I usually don't mess up too much with appearance but you can also change the item font size so that it, it may be bigger you can for example say a hundred percent or a hundred and ten percent you play around with the color if you want to change it it's really up to you you can change the position you can change the position of the table of content here you can put that on the left on the center and also on the right here but like I said I don't mess up with that I just leave it at none it's really up to you auto insert this will allow you to instead of manually inserting a table of content for each post you can click here to enable and then every time you're creating a blog post and you're having titles headings you will automatically insert those so suppose you have properly configured everything okay then you click on save changes now you are where you've written your post Okay, suppose let me just delete that here suppose you've properly written your post everything is nice you have the H h1 title and then you also have the h2 titles okay this is just a simple post first thing you want to do is that to insert a table of content maybe here you want to click here on this because after you've installed the plugin it will be here type here table of content and then it will ask you to select whatever you want and for example me I have I say I want until the depth is 2 first of all if you select the, this by default here and you've saved your settings then you won't have to change that every time so here I, I didn't select 2 but let me just go at 2 and then I click save changes but then if I had done that then here it will only be two and then here is where you can also change a few things you can change the title of the table of content if you only want content or table of content it's really up to you if you want to hide that by default you hide that as well by default if you want to change the smooth scroll top offset you also change that here but you see this is by default already my default is 90 and then you press save so you can change that on the settings and you can change that within each blog post and this is the title of the table of content right here so now if we go ahead and click on preview changes actually see that if we scroll down that's the table of content and then if we click for example on this one guess what it takes us directly to that spot that's number one number two now I also have a table of content on the sidebar in such a way that when I keep scrolling table of content is here so that someone can click and also get where they want to get okay this is super important you have to do that manually as well you have to put that table of content manually on, as a widget on the sidebar to do that you go back on your site you click on appearance on widgets and then what you will see if you scroll down toward the bottom you will see something like table of content right here you click here and you add that as a widget on the default sidebar you scroll back up now let me just okay when you scroll back up this will be here okay that will be here but this is the one that I just created already but let me just delete the one that I created I click on customize you don't have to change a lot of things because you've already by default selected the depth of two and everything and then you click on save now I add that as a fixed widget see what I am doing here because when I scroll down here this is is fixed it's fixed it's not moving it's a fixed widget even on this other website it is a fixed widget how do I make it a fixed widget there is another plugin that I install so if I type here q2 w3 fix widget you will see that you install this plugin and you activate it allows you to put fix widget anywhere on your site so here when you install and you activate that you will see this fix widget part okay you click here on fix widget and you click 
on safe. Another thing that I also do is that I also insert a search bar here as a fixed widget. So if I do that and I save and I go back, for example, on my post and I refresh, guess what happened? Now I have not only the table of content within at the beginning so that people can, for example, click and speaking about this part, but then as they're scrolling down, if they're annoyed, they can also start clicking to read about maybe watch the video tutorial directly. This you're making sure that Google will love your site. Readers will love your site. They will share your post. They will recommend and Google will rank you higher. Okay. And Google will take all those links that you're putting in your table of content and it will put that in the search result, just like I showed you with my post. So if I go back, you will see that they will, you will put that in the search result and that's how you dominate the search because as well, it's taking those titles and it's putting that up here. Be smart with Google. I am showing you all the tips and tricks for free. Now, the other plugin, and like I said, you can also manually, you can also automatically insert that by auto insert. But the other plugin that I wanted to also show you it, it's this one easy table of content. So let me just go ahead and install that and also activate it. Now, once you activate that, you can go on setting as well. And you will have now two table of content, but like, I think this is the one for the new one. Make sure you don't have two same plugins on your site at the same time. But essentially with this easy table of content, now you can select exactly where you want to post your where you want the table of content to be posted. If you only want that on post and not on pages, you select only post. If you also want to auto insert every time you're writing a post without having to manually do it, then you can also click on in auto insert post. Okay. Now that's first. That's one thing. If I, for example, on select this first and the position is before the first heading by default or after the first heading, and show that when I have three or four, three or more headings in the text, if not, don't show it. Okay. It's up to you. You can say four or five, really up to you. Now you had the label, you label that table of content, whatever you want. And then the smooth scroll, same as the other plugin. And then you click on save. So let me just remove the auto insert. Also, you can play around with the appearance right here, the size of the title font, and also the, the, the font size as well, maybe 110. You can go with black, the theme instead of gray. You, there are other settings that are not super important, like the lower case. The, now, the smooth scroll offset is also the same as the other one. If you have a consistent menu across the top of your site, just like this guy, for example, make sure for like a consistent or sticky menu, make sure that you're actually offsetting that. So I put, for example, a hundred instead of 30, which is the default, even the mobile. If you want to put that on mobile as well, you put that on mobile and then you click on save changes. If I go back on my post to edit and I refresh it, you will see that up here, I still have the table of content of the previous plugin that I can insert. But now if you scroll down at the bottom, you will also have insert table of content right here. Okay. And then you can select headings two only and also heading one. And then I click on update. And then guess what? That's the table of content right here. That's the new table of content where if I click, it's also going to take me to that part. So this, this part, you have to make sure that you select the right setting. If you're only writing a post with two headings and then here it's show when there is a minimum of three headings, you will not see the table of content just like you saw here. It, it's only showing because I have a minimum of three headings, which is what I selected here, three headings or more. So make sure that you're careful with your settings. But essentially, you can have two types of table of content. For example, uh, if I go back and I insert that one, 
and I update, you will see two types of table of content. The results are in. You now have one table of content up here at the top. And then you also have this other table of content from the other plugin, but never ever have two plugins at the same time. I was, this is just for demonstration purposes. Now you're asking me which plugin do I like? It's the other one, Lucky WP table of content. The first one that I showed you, that's the one that I use so far because I can customize it the way I want. And it's it's been SEO friendly for me so far because a lot of my posts that you will see on Google will be will have the title or the, the headings really well organized in the search result. And that really helps with the user experience and they keep coming back. I don't want to make this video too long. That's what I wanted to show you. Guys, there are so many things that I keep showing you week after week, tutorial after tutorial that is, I, I believe is helpful because I'm really pouring everything out for you and I'm showing you step by step. If you think that was helpful, please like the video, share, subscribe so that it can help other people and it can also help the channel. Check out my website, themmsexperience.com. I have a ton of written tutorial that can also help you on a lot of other domains. Now, there are there will be other things that I will cover in the future, like such as how to put a grid of your most recent post. This is also super important for SEO and also for to increase the number of people that stay on your site, but it's step by step. Okay, week after week, there will be another video. Until next time, take good care of yourself. I love you guys. Peace. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe. Thank you.